So this is Pat with Badass Beards. Um, so I was just basically just, you know, hanging out, you know, just chilling in the shower. And, uh, you know, I had a couple of my utensils in here. You know, I have my uh, little, uh, yeah, that should be in the blooper film, right? But I had my regular little Annie brush, you know what I'm saying? I had my, my you know, super fisty Afro pick, you know, my super Afro centric wooden pick, you know what I mean? And I'm just kind of just, you know, I'm in there and I'm in, I'm in the shower and, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, some of the research I've been doing as I'm, you know, I just finished, you know, washing my underarms and all that good jazz. And, you know what I'm saying? I had, um, you know, cleaned, cleaned around the unmentionables, you know what I'm saying? And um, so I'm still brushing that stuff and I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, the, hmm, the texture of my hair and I heard someone mention, you know, that hey, you know, you don't wanna, you don't wanna, you don't wanna brush too much or, you know, anything like that. And I just started thinking to myself, like, hmm, you don't wanna brush too much. And really, what came to mind was, if you got, my philosophy has always been, if you got, if you got moisture, if you got water, if it's moist, brush as long as you want to, you know, because. I don't even know what rule of thumb means, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, like, rule of thumb, you know what I'm saying, like, if you want to stop, if you want to style it, style it, you know what I mean, styling is what's up, training is even more what's up, you know what I mean, if you, training is key, you know, if you don't, if you don't apply moisture, if you don't take showers on a regular basis or something like that, you know, which is just, we're not going to get into that, but. You know what I'm saying? If you don't continue to keep it moist, I'm not saying walk around like, you know, like Soul Glow from uh, Dog on uh, Coming to America, leaving drip, dripping, drenchy, oily stains all over people's couches and stuff like that. But, you know, like, if you have moisture, it's okay to train, you know? It's, it's like, it's almost like a dog. If you have treats, it's always okay to train a dog if you got treats, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, my philosophy has always been if it's, if it's moist, you can grow it. And you know, I've had extremely long tread locks down my back and it's been like, it's, well, maybe they weren't extremely long, but anyway, like the key is just the moisture. You know, you can, you can surpass a lot of things. And I'm not trying to say, you know, I'm not trying to breed an environment for beard envy where you're just trying to like catch up with everybody and pass everybody and all this sort of thing but i understand it's super cool to have an gnarly beard and, and if you want to have a badass beard you know in order to have that badass beard you got to keep some badass moisture because breakage is not your friend especially i mean i don't even want to say with just texture of hair like this but i know for a fact that with this coarse and with this coarse is my um my texture of my hair is if it's dry it's gonna break but i'm telling you it's gonna break if it's dry you gotta you gotta you know like anything else that you can study or find out from you want to make sure that you're not you're not dry you know what i'm saying so that's pretty much a, a, a wrap for this one you know i was going <laughs> strange enough i was going to film this video you know actually in the shower because the idea hit me while i was in the shower you know where all great ideas come from you know but i was just thinking to myself like man I'm brushing away, you know, I'm not like, you know, you want to go in there raking and uh, uh, with a hard bristle brush in your beard, but, you know, if you got water, it's your friend. Train it, brush it, you know what I'm saying? Go to work, you know, I don't, I don't, uh, uh, I'm just like, you know, straight down, you know, uh, straight down. And you can see this little piece right here is going to eventually come down a little bit more which is exactly what i want you know i don't want a wooly bully beard with you know, extremely fat on the side because i'm i'm expecting that this thing will you know come a bit more large and have a little bit more body and stuff like that but for me i just you know I want a nice hefty size styled beard a nice you know nice little wicked little mustache working on right there and then you know the haircut has a lot to do with things you know because if you're real heavy up top and and heavy down bottom too it's kind of not as aesthetically 
balance, you know. Um, I'm kind of minimal up top and, you know, very maximum down bottom, but still, you know, very, it's, it's quite groomed. And to be honest with you, you know, my lines aren't extremely sharp. This is very close to my natural line. And, um, you know, we'll see a bit as things grow out. But, you know, the key, the key, the key is, you know, it, styling with moisture, training with moisture. Anytime you want, you know, if it hurts your face brushing up against, you probably shouldn't be doing it to your beard, you know. If you can brush your skin, you know, and I'm not saying brush your skin, but if it doesn't hurt to brush your skin with that same pressure that you use to brush without pain, you should use that same pressure on the beard. You know what I mean? Because it's very, it's, it's strong, but it's fragile. A little break. You know what I mean? So that's all for now. Dry off. Um, I'm going to seal in this moisture. I, I, think I started, uh, I made a little ointment oil. I'm not sure where I put that. Yeah, right here. Uh, kind of recycled little dropper. Uh, melted down some coconut oil, some olive oil. Put a little bit of cayenne pepper, like one shake of cayenne pepper in there. Um, and I'm testing this out to see how well I like the way it seals moisture, which it felt really good last night. I did the same thing last night when I got out the shower. You never know. One day maybe I'll start making making those, you know. Um, but, um, you know, oil's kind of expensive. But anyways, you know, um, uh, that's, that's that for that, you know. Peace, y'all. I'll see y'all next time.